We are here in the Pilbara region of Western Australia at an Ossus locality and uh, you can see we are surrounded by, uh, well, many, many fragments of rocks which are stromatolites. And I picked up this rock which may look beat up and not particularly spectacular, but I thought it was really fantastic because uh, when we look at stromatolites that grew on the early earth, that grew really, really long time ago, uh, oftentimes we cannot assume that they were made by microbes. It is oftentimes really difficult to recognize traces of microbial processes in them because stromatolites by definition are just laminated structures that are so layered rocks that can grow by either microbial trapping and binding of sediment grains or can grow by precipitation of minerals or can grow because microbes give them shape and then get frozen in time by the uh, minerals. Well, this rock here has all of these little bumps and I think it's a really beautiful example of a stromatolite that offers evidence of microbial processes. For example, we see these little bumps here and the lamina going off the side, we see one bump and then a little dent in it and another bump going really steeply off of it, which indicates that some microbes were living on the surface and growing really steeply on the sides of this, because this type of growth cannot be made by just minerals precipitating out of the solution. Now, what a geologist would do is take this rock and make polish it, make fine sections and really look at individual layers and try to reconstruct how they grew. Hopefully, if we are really, really lucky, we could find some evidence of grains and sediments that even shape these individual little bumps. This rock is a really beautiful example of microbes living all over this place 2.7 billion years ago.